did some things well, uh, but there's definitely room for improvement. I think a little bit of once those first trainers came out, it was uh, detailing out of the huddle, uh, some substitution problems, so stuff like that need to get ironed out, which is good to see. It's good to get it out there early to where we can work on that and make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, and then, you know, I'm, I'm happy with where we progressed. You know, we got into a little rhythm. Obviously, you need to be able to run the ball uh, better, but, um, you know, our, our guys, for the first game, not, not too bad. How do you account for the way Callaway turned it around in the first half to the second half? Um, you know, I think he was catching his breath a little bit, but, you know, it's just focusing it on doing his job and his job only. You know, there's the execution. He did it right, obviously it showed. So um, I think it was just focusing him, realizing he didn't have to worry about too much, just doing his job. Did you say anything to him, like, you know, to kind of keep his confidence going? No, I, I think I just I kept telling him to fight through it, uh, just keep going, keep pushing through it, uh, you know, because I needed it. It's a, it's a good one. Well, I thought. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, I just keep telling him to you know, push through it and just you know, fight through it because you, you, when you're tired, you got to be able to focus. You know, when we talk about late in games, he's a guy that we're going to be counting on to play. And so third and fourth quarter, he's got to be able to run those routes and execute it, make the adjustments on the fly. So that, that was a, a good thing to have. Uh, and so I think it, it showed well in the second half, obviously. But I think it could have been a little bit better in the first half. You said the other day you don't get nervous. Were there any kind of emotions you had to keep in check stepping on an NFL field for the first time? Um, what did no. you feel? Um, it was definitely different. I think just this whole trip going through the routine, a uh, different routine. You know, I got into such a a daily schedule, and then you know in Norman traveling with that team and doing every meeting. And so it was you know doing your first couple steps. You're kind of just walking through it, and making sure you're uh, at the right spot at the right time uh, early, and, and making sure that you're following all the rules. So uh, I'm, I'm happy with how it went, but I'm excited to get into uh, a group here. But, you know, th that being said, Ty was out there playing. And so, no, I just – it was kind of like he'd come off the field and look at the, what they were doing on defense. And so I wasn't nervous. It was just settled in already. Can you talk about uh, your touchdown pass to David and just the play that he made and also the play that you made on that? Yeah, obviously David played well. Um, had the first touchdown with Ty Rod. And then uh, ours down there, he was – he just did a great job winning. You know the coverage they were in. He's got to he's got to beat his man across and make it all the way out. And so going through my read, and he he won. So I put it up there for him. He's a big dude. So put it up for him. He can get it. He made a great play. Figure you clicked with Higgins this whole camp. He's also made plays with the first team. Yeah. Just, you know, why is he playing so well? I think he's realized that it's you know time of the essence. Uh, so he just knows that he's got to put it in overdrive. I mean he's he's put the work in. You can tell he's. He stayed in his playbook. And he's kind of bounced around different positions, and so that's showing right now. He's played inside and outside a little bit today. He had a lot of success on the outside, and so uh, that's great to see a guy that's put in the work and he has re has results out of it. Um, he's, he's been making plays. He was a few back shoulder throws, a good hitch route on press coverage that he made separation. Uh, and just good things to see the first game of the year. Baker, your first touchdown drive. There were a few plays where you stayed in the pocket, and maneuvered a little bit. Said you do that, you always look to the pro rather than the run. But is it natural to you now? Has it always been, or were you uh, tempted to run out of there in your first game? No, I don't think I was tempted. I think um, the natural thing for me is to try and find throwing lanes. Um, that's just a vision as well. Just trying to, to make sure I have the windows to throw in. And then um, just the stuff they were running tonight. They had a lot of man coverage, which gives you throwing lanes. But also gives you running lanes. Those guys have their backs turned covering those receivers. And so a couple of those conversions on the short yardage or medium uh, that I was able to pick up with my feet, uh, that's due to the coverage they were running. When two weeks today, two weeks ago today, camp started. Is there one area where you can say you're definitely better, more confident than you two weeks ago? I think command of the whole offense, you know, just in general, being able to say the play in the huddle and just slow it down for me, not having to think about the whole thing uh, as I'm getting lined up know, see it and see what the defense is giving me. So I'm able to eliminate things quicker. And so that's what you really want to do when you're getting up to the line. And the great quarterbacks are able to have that elimination process very quickly. They, they know 
exactly where they want to go with the ball, and then if something happens, they can instantly go to that second read or whatever it is. So um, that's that's something I'm working on, but I think that's the biggest progress I've made. I know it's the preseason, but uh, Coach Jackson's got a, a lot on his plate in the couple in the next couple days and all. How much it was it important for everybody in the locker room to send him off with a W and, uh, and to make uh, when he's able to come back uh, yeah. make it a little bit easier? Uh, I mean, I wish I could say do it justice the importance of it to him, but I can't put myself in his shoes. I can only uh, just be there for him. You know, obviously, it's, it's a tough deal for anybody. Uh, you know, so I would imagine this this helped a little bit. Uh, I hope it did at least. And so I think it was important for us to go out there and play well. But when it comes down to it, family's the priority. Uh, you know, it's the way he's been able to come to work every day and lead this group of men. Kudos to him. I don't think I'd be able to do it. After the first drive, the second drive, seemed like you came out there in a different rhythm. What had changed for you? Was it just getting used to the pace? Um, I'd just seeing it better. Uh, you know, we had a little play action on the first drive. Um, I think just getting back there, and just getting the ball up quick helped too. Uh, and just going through the day, getting comfortable. Just settled in with my feet too. When I when Cal when Callaway takes a you know a short pass. You know, breaks away like that. What does it do for you as a quarterback? What does it do for the offense? How impressive was it? Um, I said it this past week during camp. My job is to get the ball in the playmakers' hands, um, and that's that was one of those things right there. You got to have your guys making plays, and when you get man coverage, they have to win. And he did just that, and then he did the rest. So it's it's exciting to see. It's exciting for us to see that we can get the ball out quick and let them handle the rest. All right. All right. Thanks.